hello guys so welcome to another video in this video we are going to see a model like i saw that model in social media i don't know who did it but it was good like it was nice so i just i'm just trying to do that model in rhino i mean in the grasshopper so and this in this grasshopper i'll also explain a pre part in detail so that you can also use it in your way of uh, modeling so let's go into the video so first i'm going to use point curve so uh, the point okay so now before going into the uh, into the script i just type bifocal so bifocal is a plugin for grasshopper which will give you a name of uh, it will give you a label like this like point every command label so so that it will be useful for you guys also you can download this bifocal from food for rhino that is the official website where you can download the plugins for rhino as well as grasshopper so um so the point is done so we need to assign a point so i'm just going to use a single point in uh, rhino so i'm just clicking this point so I'm just changing it to shaded so that the point will be visible. So I need to assign the point. So as I said before, you can use two types of point for grasshopper. One is you using a vector. Uh, in vector is nothing but be whatever uh, you, you need to give the input in Rhino and you are assigning that input to grasshopper using a vector. Or else you can use use you can construct the entire point in the grasshopper. So you can use that. But I don't want to make the script tab bigger, so I'm just using this way. So it's asking to select one point or multiple point. So I just need a one point, so I'm just selecting this point. So the point has been selected. Now I'm just going to draw spiral. So spiral is a plugin but i uh like it's uh, available in food for rhino but if you didn't find it in food for rhino just see the description below so i just uploaded the plugin so you can download the plugin from there because um in uh in food for rhino the name of the spiral is a little bit different so i use different website because the version there's a lot of things okay so if you couldn't find the uh, plugin over in food for rhino just download it from the description okay so, so I'm just going to give the point, but I don't want in this direction. I want in the the vertical direction. So I'm just giving the plane. So I'm just giving it over here. So this is the axis and the direction. So I don't need the plane to be visible. So I can close the plane. So now I just give the value for everything. That is like height, the spiral values. So maybe I can give like eight. Sorry. So this is a twisting angle. So you need to give every value. So it's up to you the value depends like on your way. So I'm just giving some random values. So you can see the spiral is being done. So now I'm just going to do a line. So for the line we need a to draw a line we need two points. So so the point one I'm going to keep it as the point which I created. I mean which I given below this one which I given before. This will be the one point and an another point should be like. A, I need a point over the spiral so this point will connect it like this like this one like the point will be connecting like from single point it connects above oh i am not a good sketcher sorry 
so maybe i just do it and show so that you will get an idea so i'm just giving a line so the one point so so here i want the kind so i'm just going to use divide curve so which will generate points for me divide curve so it just divides the curve so now i'm just giving 70 and uh, so you can see the point has been created so it's it's your point like if you want you can increase the point so maybe i can give like 75 next uh i need some randomizations so for the next value but before that uh, let's join the line so that you uh, will get an uh, idea of what i said before so this is what i said before so every point you can see this point will join here so every point will be joined in the same point i mean to this point so this is what i need so when it's done now i'm going to convert this into a unit vector so now i'm just using unit vector so so now I'm going to use multiplication so if you if you don't know what is this uh, plugin like what is this component multiplication or like the in-between components I'm just going to post for every component a separate video so that you will get an idea so if you need the if you are willing to know anything about any particular com uh, component which I'm which I will miss so you just say in the comment section so that i'll just try to do uh, i'll try to do for your uh, comments so in this multiplication so i need a random value so the value should be randomized so i'm just giving random so now i'm just joining the random of over here in the multiplication and now you can see uh, it is uh, it has three input value one is the range another one is the number another one is the seeding yeah so the range uh, can be like I can give the range uh, maybe uh, you can use uh, construct domain to give the range but instead of that you can use a uh, panel tool uh, like you can put like Three, two, three, two, seven. So this is fine. But if you so, if if you have a fixed range, then you can use this. If you don't have the fixed range, you can see the value is being uh, given as three to seven. But if you don't have a fixed range, you want to alter it, you can use construct domain. So it's, uh, it's up to you. I'm just giving an option so that you can use according to yourself. So next one is like uh, the number. I'm just giving the same number which I gave for the divide curves. And now I'm giving the series to be 7. Okay? It's up to you. So the multiplication has been done. Now I'm going to move this element. So, so I'm going to give this element to here and now this is the geometry so I'm just giving the geometry uh, which I generated using divide curve so I'm, I need to move this curve little bit so that the element which I'm looking forward which you see in the cover you can create it so now I'm going to use move command again so in this I'm just dropping the move so 
So I want it to be moved in the z direction that is in the vertical direction. So but in the negative value. So I just give negative and now I'm just keeping unit z and now I'm just giving like value of one point eleven or something. So so once it's been moved and now I'm going to draw another line that is from the curves which has been created in the divide curve to the lines which has been done created by using move command. So I'm going to use line again. Now in this I'm just going to give move to be B from move I'm just giving to and the A to B to the line curves I mean sorry to the divide curves. So you can see the line from the red curves and it's been created so now I'm just adding the entire circle so you can see the lines has been created but I need a relay over here so I'm just double clicking it so that it gives you a relay so the one part has been done now I'm going to use that is the unit vector. So the unit vector is here. Now I'm just using multiplication again. So in this multiplication, I'm going to give the output of A. And so before going into multiplication, I need a I need the spiral so the pattern so uh, what I'm doing is like I need a, a spiral pattern which has been a swipe so I need a surface around this so that it looks like a channel or something so it need to be a pipe so we need to do that also so I'm going to use use uh, the spiral which I created so you can use this spiral for making a surface so you can use pipe or it's up to you but i'm going to use swipe too so before that let's finish the bottom part which i did so the multiplication i'm giving a value maybe 0 0.4 something around 4 or 3 so once the value is done i'm just giving 4 now I am giving a extrude so in this for multiplication I am just giving extrusion here and so so sorry, uh, so you need to give the vector to, uh, I mean the value for the multiplication should be come out of the vector. So we are just taking the two branches, two multiplication. So the value should be multiplied. So now I am just going to give extrude. So the extrude is done. So now it's asking for the base. Let's give the base as a line and the direction as the extrusion. So you can see the line is being extruded. So once the extrusion is done, now let's give the area. So after the area, so in from area you will get the center. So that's why I'm just giving area. So I need the center of the point. So now I'm going to evaluate curve surface. Evaluate surface node I won't evaluate 
yeah evaluate surface so in this the point is the center <laughs> on the surface is the the extrusion surface which we created so i'm just giving the extrusion so it's been now i'm going to use multiplication again So in this, I'm just going to give from the normal to B and the A value maybe I can give point so 13 or something. So from multiplication, now I need the value to be in negative so because I need to extrude this to create a surface. So I need one value to be negative. So x root. So in this, I'm just giving the reaction to be the value which we created through our red surface. So I'm just giving this. And now I need the base. So for base, I can give the extrusion which I created. Now I just join over here. Let's see. I just create a relay now I just turn off everything preview off so you can see so it, it acts like a 3d box in this action so so the extrusion has been done so one part of the work is been done now From the line which we created before, we are going to create a loft using the line which we created to create a skin. So you can see the skin has been created. Now I'm just relaying. Now I'm just using space stress. And this is a plugin that you can download from Food for Rhino. And I'm just giving space plus one. So in this, I'm just joining the loft to the surface. So the space truss has been created. So in this, you need to create. You need to give the value of u, v, and uh, and the truss depth. So I'll give u as like uh, maybe sixty. V as like uh, one ten. So this command looks little heavier so you need to and after you're done and if it's okay just turn it off until you finish the script because this one this command will always have a heavy effect on the file so that's why so you can see the truss gives you the line so now you need to join it so now I'm going to use curve so I want so you can see the primary lines primary line so you can see like a, when you see here all the lines has been joined but I don't want all the lines you can see the points is also be there so the points is also there the lines but I, I just want the lines so I'm just giving the lines in the separate I don't want the structural structure node so I am just giving the lines over here. So when I click the curve, you can see it just select the line. So I just omitted the curve. I am just pulling off. So now I am just using pipe command to give a structural depth to this. But before doing that, because if I do this, this will uh, literally make the script heavy and it started hang. So before doing that, I said before I need a sliding, uh, sliding surface around along the spiral which I created. So simple. So I need a. So I need. Uh, so if I'm going to create, a, if I'm going to have a surface using the spiral, so what should we do? We we just need to offset this line again. Uh, so we need to offset this and use swipe one or two. 
to get the surface so that's what i'm going to do so from spiral i'm going to use p frame frame i want frames so pre frames so from spiral i'm just giving it to curve so it will give you the frames and let's give the count to be three so after the count is done so now i'm just drawing a rectangle so the plane is done so now i'm just giving point two zero so i'm just giving the x here and the y should be negative value i need a y a negative value maybe i can use uh, i can give point three five zero zero and i can give negative here now i can use y here after the rectangle is done now i am going to use sweep sweep 2 will be better so so this is the reference that is the sectional reference i am going to use this as a reference so i need the railing part so so the first railing part is this and I want the second railing part. So for doing that, I need to give offset curve. Offset curve. So in this offset curve, I'm just going to give the spiral over here. And the distance will be like, I can give this. Maybe uh, I can give the distance this and i need a plane so i can give x y as a plane so you can see the offset has been created so now i'm just giving this is the rail one and the spiral which i created before can be as rail two and this rectangle can be a section Oh, sorry, the rectangle can be the section and the rail 2 should be here. So you can see the surface has been created, which I need the spiral surface. So, this is for this. So this is what I require. So, the model is done. So, in the next we so and I forgot about this. So, let's give the curve to pipe. I hope so. That's it. I decide everything which I don't need to be visible. So I'm just proving off every element. So let's join it. One, two, three. Yeah. It's, it it has been low. It will be loading for at least 10 minutes. Let's wait. And if you see 10 minutes in the video, don't give uh, don't type in the comment section that it's not 10 minutes because I, I would have edited in I would have trimmed the video out of omitting the hang. So the, the pipe is done. So but the value is being like by default it takes one as the value, but I don't need the one that day. I'm just giving 0 0.1. So the model is done. So save a comment in the comment section. And in the next video, I am planning to do the big architect's work. So let's see in the next video. Bye bye. Have a nice day. If you have any doubts, say in the comment section.